Mr Nuttall for the EFDD Group. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Uh, well, today I was going to talk about issues uh, ranging from Greece uh, to the EU's uh, energy policy, but when travelling in, uh, I thought, well, all this can wait because I don't believe today should be about political point scoring. Um, we'll have many opportunities to debate and no doubt disagree, Mr Juncker, over the next four years. But today, my opinion should be about quiet and unified reflection. What happened yesterday in the French Alps represented a sickening loss uh, of life and one which has been felt right across our great continent. And although, as you all know, I am thoroughly opposed to the European Union and its institutions, I am actually proud to be a European. Indeed, the fact that my colleagues and I uh, do not believe in the structures of the EU makes us no lesser Europeans. I would therefore, on behalf of my group, like to offer my condolences firstly to Germany. Uh, 67 of the 144 passengers uh, who have died were German citizens, including 16 children returning from an exchange trip. Over 40 passengers are believed to be Spanish, and as someone who's lived and worked in Barcelona, and someone who still has friends in that great Catalan city, my thoughts are with them at this difficult time. Also on board that tragic flight were Britons, Dutch, Danes and Belgians. This tragedy has touched us all. We must hope for the sake of the families that the salvage operation will be swift and that they get the answers that they need as quickly as possible so that they can understand why this aeroplane fell to the ground and their loved ones lost their lives. I think I can speak not only on behalf of my group but I'm pretty sure the whole of the European Parliament when I say that our thoughts and our prayers are with the friends and families of those who so tragically lost their lives in the French Alps yesterday. God bless.